This week, I'm looking at an Aussie hard rock band that were destined for greatness, but fell casualty to, you know the story, infighting and the era known as grunge. These guys were definitely part of my youth, and I celebrated every release by shelling out my hard-earned pocket money to buy one of their songs. Back then, all I could afford was the cassettes, but I still have them today. I remember getting their second single and nearly blowing my head off as I cranked the Walkman up to 10 and waited for that opening riff to hit. And the moment that I got my first ever CD player, theirs was one of the first CDs I bought. Before we get into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment, yada, yada, yada. Look, I know I say the same thing every video, but your great comments and ideas really do inspire me. Your suggestions are coming in thick and fast, and I've got a great list of songs to explore and to create videos for. Let's keep them coming. And again, thank you so much. I'm sure that we could all name bands that should have had more than just one release. I mentioned another in Vertigo a few videos back. But Australia's own Roxas is another such band. They were right in the middle of carving a niche all of their own, but they just couldn't keep it together. Still, their legacy lives on today, not only through their music, but their influence on other great Aussie bands, one being the brilliant White Widow. Further, there are fans who fondly remember the group, and they still have quite an underground following, even today. So today we're checking out Roxas's biggest hit, and the B-side that was left off their one and only studio release. Welcome to Should Have Been On The Album. Roxas was formed in 1987 as Bar Regar in Melbourne, Australia. The band comprised of Joe Cool on guitar, Darren Danielson on drums, John Stones Nixon on bass guitar, Juno Roxas on lead vocals, and Andy Shanahan on keyboards. All members of the band had been around the musical traps in previous bands, such as De Arrow, Windsor Jam, and Party Pies, and Roxas was also seen in the Aussie film Mull. As Roxas, they gained a cult following around the local pub and club circuit, and by 1989 were supporting Poison and Bon Jovi on their Australian tours. According to Discogs, the band self-released a single called I Love Women, but there's not much other information to be found. It was famous music commentator Molly Meldrum who signed the band back in 1989, and they released two national singles, Stand Back and Body Heat, with Stand Back cracking the top 40. Joe Cool left the band and was replaced by former Diarro guitarist Dragon Stanek. Following up on their growing popularity, they released a live EP which featured two new songs and versions of their two singles. A highlight is the excellent Morning Light. Nineteen ninety one would prove to be a watershed year for Roxas when, after supporting Warrant on their Aussie tour, they debut their album Night Street, with the lead single Where Are You Now peaking at number thirteen on the charts. Three more singles, Bad Boys, Jimmy G, and Midnight Love, followed. 1992 found them back in the studio with Jeff Paris behind the production desk. But the dates were cut short, quote, due to the unanimous decision to replace Danielson with a drum machine after time restrictions became an issue. Unfortunately, the album was never completed. Though you can find some of those tracks online and through the unofficial release called The Paris Sessions. On New Year's Eve 1992, Roxas played their final show before officially disbanding early in 1993. Juno Roxas would go on to release a solo album, Far From Here, in 1994, but it failed to resonate with audiences. Danielson and Nixon would join Chocolate Starfish, best known for their hit singles Mountain and the cover of the Carly Simon song, You're So Vain. As for Roxas, that's where the story ends. And while Roxas have only had a handful of releases, they were fond of the non-album B-side, and their first two singles had one each, Stand Back has Spaghetti Wire, and Body Heat has Don't Stop. Bad Boys, the second single from Night Street, also has a scorching version of Freeze All Right Now. But it's on their biggest hit, Where Are You Now, that we find a gem of a B-side called Borderline. 
Borderline was written by Juno Roxas and Dragon Stanick, and produced by Roxas, Stanick, and Doug Roberts. It appeared on the B-side of their hit, Where Are You Now, as a stripped-down, almost acoustic track. And unfortunately, there's not a lot more to say about the history of the song, other than some bootleg releases state that Borderline is a live track. And there's probably a bit of merit in that, especially due to the sparseness of the production and a few moments of background noise. Lyrically, the song finds the singer alone at night, lost in his thoughts and contemplating life. Midnight train, don't ride tonight I guess I'm gonna have to try and hitch me right to the borderline mm -hmm. Oh, the wind ain't got nowhere to go I'm gonna let it take me wherever it blows down on the borderline The mood stays melancholic and it seems that there's not a lot of hope. So don't go holding on to memory Cause you know you're gonna find out in the end You know it's time we realize What's waiting on the other side The chorus doubles down on the sense of helplessness as the singer decides that it's best to leave town and head to the border. Whoa, whoa. Ultimately, all they have is themselves, and not even their dreams to hold on to. Well, damn. That's kind of depressing, ain't it? As you can hear, it's vocals and piano. Again, giving credence to the idea that it may just be a single live take of the track. But there's a beauty in that. And the harmonies in the chorus are wonderful. This shows a very personal side of the group that marketed themselves with a carefully cultivated image of black leather, ripped jeans, cowboy boots and bandanas and big hair. There's a softness to the song, a moodiness, but also a sense of camaraderie between the band themselves. And while you couldn't say there's a lot of musical technicality going on here, what is here is heart and bucket loads of it. Borderline is a song that is revealing, intimate and simple. And there's a real statement in that. If you've heard their album Night Street, you know Roxas were aiming to be the next Bon Jovi, Poison or Warrant. And they had the chops and the songwriting ability to do so. But would Borderline fit on the album? To be honest, probably not. The sonic palette of Night Street is warm, full and unashamedly rocking. Even their ballads have a certain power to them. And the flow of the album as a whole is cohesive, with clear and maybe calculated ebbs and flows. From the one-two punch of Rock and Roll Nights and My Way, into the ballsy bad boys, the album opens on a mission. Midnight Love is a great mid-tempo rocker, and then Side 1 finishes with their biggest hit. Side 2 isn't as strong, with the title track being a little anemic, and this time is just your standard ballad. But First Break of the Heart is fantastic, and the re-recording of Stand Back shows just how strong their first major single was. Personally, I would love to have had a studio version of Morning Light from their EP on the album too, or even the killer Body Heat. I mean, if you're going to put Stand Back on there, why not go all the way? Jimmy G was their third single, and it's a sound way to end off the album, if on a slightly downbeat note. So with all of that said, I don't know if there's a song that I would replace with Borderline. I think Night Street acts as a great introduction to the band, and it doesn't want for much. So even though Borderline is a great song, it's just not fully formed enough to find a place on the Night Street album. That doesn't make it a bad song, not at all. In fact, I would almost rate it as a better ballad than this time, but it's really not quite ready to be included on the album. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this slice of excellent hard rock history, and maybe I've turned you into a little bit of a fan. Definitely get a hold of Roxas's back catalogue if you can, and enjoy everything that they had to offer. If you know of some great B-sides or rarities that I should check out, put them in the comments below. 
I've been given the heads up on groups like ACDC, Iron Maiden, Duran Duran, Till Tuesday, and Dream Theater, and I'll be definitely checking them out and making videos on them in the future. But until next time, my name is Drew, and you've been watching Should Have Been On The Album. Cheers. Oh, no, we'll never rain.